All right, we're going to do a very instant sambal prawn with the shortest cut method, okay, where it's foolproof. So what you need is like some onions, any type of onions. Uh, I decided to add in garlic and I wanted to spice things up with more chili putty. You need some sugar and if you can get some shrimp paste, uh, just wrap it in the foil and toast it in the oven. And then you just get instant blachan. See, you have to get blachan chili. If you get the red color, it the taste will not be uh, really like a blachan sambal blachan shrimp. Then you can get any fresh or frozen prawns. And you can add in uh, tomatoes. Well, I decided to add in some frozen peas to give it that little crunch and color. It's so simple. And in less than five minutes, it's done. All right, before we start, let's have some wine in a small bottle like this. And you just drink it while you cook, so to relax. Ready some peanut oil, I'm using peanut oil because it can withstand the high temperature. Right, it can withstand the high temperature and also the flavor is much better. So I have my ingredients here, right? Some gula malika, chili padi, garlic, onions, and balachan. To try to dry fry the area, the area here. Dry fry the area. And we just add in The idea is to char and caramelize You can smell the onion starts to caramelize and the chili starts to caramelize but if you you can see the smoke now okay so we're going to lower the fire and throw in our lower the fire very low because this will burn easily Right, so we're just going to pan fry at a very low heat. Do not worry uh, if it's in chunks like this. You're just trying to heat it up. Don't worry about that. Because later on you will make a sauce. This is the shortcut way for making sambal prawns. So now you can start to smell. <coughs> the thing is getting in your nails and it's like a caramelized sweet smell on a very low fire. It's caramelizing. into a paste. Usually uh, they will have more onions. So the uh, la chan will be very soft off now. So just slowly roast it. Okay. Now we're going to add in the magic. I'm going to mix the blachan. Mix the blachan. You can buy this anywhere because I like to mix it because it's instant.
and we're going to add in another one which is more limey. You see the color is very light compared with this one. You see it's very red and this one is very light because it has more bloodshed. So I like it spicy so I put more. And that's it, so simple. So you can add in some gula malaka now. We're going to make it into a sauce. Start to add in your vegetables. Just a bowl of water. And raise the heat. And we're going to reduce this until it becomes a very thick sauce. And all your tomatoes and uh, the sauce will blend in with the chili. So if you don't like it so spicy, then add less chili. But you still should add a little bit more chili. So the ideal part would be to be a bit spicy and sweet and a little bit sour. Right, you can see the sauce has gone down because you look at the cherry tomatoes, they are at this height. So, and it becomes a very fragrant, like a little soupy, but it's not. Don't underestimate the, the spiciness of this. And then I'm just going to add frozen prawns. You can buy, you know, if you have the shells, it would be nice to so just add in the frozen prawns and just let it slowly you know cook it doesn't matter your prawns do not need to be like tender and juicy because most of the sambal uh, sambal blachan prawns they are actually uh, quite like tough tougher but it's very delicious because it's spicy so even if you have tougher prawns it doesn't matter it, the idea is to let it like uh, boil or stew in the sambal and for it to absorb the flavor, not to just like lightly cook it. No, you're supposed to boil it together. So when the prawns is cooked, we will add in some fish sauce. And you see the tomatoes are soft now. You can start to break them up if they can be broken to get that sour, spicy, spiciness. And to make the sauce like, like soupy, uh, not soupy, thicker. So it has like a, like a pasta sort of Depth. So yes, ideally it would be like a pasta, like a pasta thick sauce that you can lace it with pasta. And once they're cooked, you can start to taste it. Nice or not? Nice love. <laughs> <laughs> I cook so many so I can keep tomorrow eat again. That's so delicious. You like that? I like. Also very expensive. Yeah, yeah not? I also want to get this, yes. Why you cook sambal blachan at home with bigger prawns, okay, you can see how big is the prawn. It's because sambal blachan is a very expensive uh, dish, like you mix with rice. It's a very expensive dish and it's very, very hard to get um, the right big prawns and the right spiciness. So, if you really want to have a very good sambal blacha, I suggest that you do what I do. Uh, the easiest way to get a real sambal blacha, very, very good taste. So, you just let it stew. See? Like the prawns, they're curling into a, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because this is a stew. It's not uh, like al dente prawn where it will be overcooked. It, it will never be overcooked. So you do not need to worry. So let it stew until the gravy is very thick. As you can see, uh, I've added the peas and the corns, the frozen vegetables, because 
they will give like a, a li little bit of color here and there make it more interesting see like it's a, like a pasta pasta texture sauce Okay, so now the prawns are basically cooked. We need to sweeten it like a sweet and spicy and saltish. Oh, it's really, really good. It's sweet, it's spicy. Now we need to add a bit of saltish. I'm using the Thai fish sauce, but you can use uh, salt to bring up that taste, but I like fish sauce. Just gonna add a bit of fish sauce. That's it. Mmm. Really gorgeous taste. A little bit more fish sauce. Because I like it a little bit saltish. Right, as you can see, the bubbles are forming. Lesser sauce now. And it has a, like a creamy texture, you can see. The oils are coming up now. They are drying up at the edge, so the oils are coming up now. If you like a little bit of color, then you just add a bit of black sauce. But I think now it's, it, it looks like the color that I like is like a golden color, golden, spicy, orangey color. I don't like the ones like they look very red and brown. I like it like light, like it when you eat this. When you do it this way, it's very refreshing. The taste is very refreshing because it has like some lime in the sauce. And that's why it's refreshing. Okay, so we're almost there. Usually they will put more onions, but I think this is really good now. See, this, the prawns are taking over the sauce you see they are above the sauce in a short while and that is the type of graviness you want okay that's it see when I pick up the prawn right it's coated with the sauce so this is the type of texture you want when you pick up the sauce it has like a pasta style of texture that's the easiest way I can tell you. All right, and it looks so. There we have it the sambal prawn. Shortcut to sambal prawn. Look at that sauce. Remember, texture is like a pasta. So, you never ever go wrong with this sauce. Look at that. So beautiful, so easy, foolproof. Enjoy!